Since the first one was discovered in 1824, dinosaurs have become one of the most enduring icons of our time. Yep, we're gonna find it. There's a dinosaur head buried in the woods. We live in a world that is dinosaur obsessed. As kids, we can't get enough of them. Follow a trail. We gotta go seriously under a log. And if you've got it really bad, you grow up into a paleontologist. Don Lesson was a consultant on Jurassic Park. You're right. What's the matter with the grown-ups who don't love dinosaurs? The most magnificent things that ever lived on the Earth? And you're wondering why we love them? I mean, what is your problem? We're looking for a little bit of bone that's sticking out. Because otherwise, how would you know where the fossil is? They were the superlatives. They were the biggest, the heaviest, the meanest, the longest. You name it, dinosaurs were it. Hey, the reason it's so fascinating for kids, I think, is that they can imagine what it's like to be in that world. We have a hard time imagining what it's like to go to Florida. For little kids, when they're two and three and they're starting to think about the world a little bit, these are monsters. They're real, but they're not under the bed. When I was a kid, I really wanted a dinosaur to ride on. A big sauropod. I thought it would be so much fun to have a sauropod-sized saddle and be able to... <laughs> <laughs> ride on a sauropod. We can get in over here. We might be able to... As a paleontologist, I love digging up the possibility of monsters of my childhood, looking for strange beasts that once roamed where I live now. Well, imagine if dinosaurs were not just curiosities dug up from the ground. The odds of the meteorite impact that spelt doom to the dinosaurs were millions to one. Nothing like it has happened in the 65 million years since. Yet this single event changed life on Earth forever. But what if we could rerun history? Would things have been a little bit different? Would we keep dinosaurs as pets? Having dinosaurs as pets would be a lot of fun. And potentially dangerous for small children. Or how about a dinosaur for Sunday lunch? I really welcome the idea, grisly as it sounds, of trying protoceratops meat. What if they'd evolved to stand side by side with us? Could dinosaurs be humanoid too? If it's such a good solution for us, is it so difficult to imagine it could be a good solution for a dinosaur? Dinosaurs of the 21st century? Are they serious? Don't laugh. The joke might just be on you. <laughs> <laughs>